All right. Do we have any uh, questions or comments? You have one? Um, I was discussing with my wife uh, not too long ago. I think uh, it was yesterday. Um, but we was discussing the fact of how God sees us as a church as a whole. And say, uh, I think you gave us an example as uh, with Joshua when they went out to war. And uh, somebody in their camp sinned and they lost the battle. But um, my question is like with uh, God's truth and deliverance, like if everybody is one body and somebody within the body in this body was not doing the will of God, would God uh, punish the group as a whole? I wouldn't say he'd punish the group. What, he, what it will do is it, was, it would withhold the group from moving forward. When, when uh, Moses and uh, when Aaron, when Aaron and Miriam, when they spoke against Moses, uh, you know, uh, of course God judged Miriam and she was struck with leprosy. And the Bible says, you know, that Moses prayed for and asked God not to do that. But God said if her, if her father had just spit in her face, she would be outside the camp for seven days. So she's going to, this is what's going to happen. She's going to have it for seven days. And so what happened, the Bible says that they stayed put, the whole camp of Israel. We're talking about two million people stayed in one place seven days because of one woman and man's sin. And so if sin isn't dealt with, you know, then it stops the group from moving forward. And I'm going to tell you why. Because God doesn't want to stack other people on top of sin that's already there. You see what I mean? If we're all backbiting, we don't have to worry about God moving anybody here. Why? Do you, why? So we can corrupt them just like we're corrupted? The Bible says a little leaven, leaven at the whole lump, you see. And so while he may not chastise everybody, what will happen is we'll just be in, we'll just remain in the same place. And unfortunately, that have happened in a lot of churches. They're just staying put. They may be growing as far as numbers go, but not growing spiritually, you see. And it's because God have left them. Why? Because sin haven't been dealt with and God takes it serious. Uh, in, in the book of 1 Samuel, uh, God spoke to Samuel about Eli. And God said, I'm going to judge Eli's house. Why? Because his sons are sleeping with the women. They're taking an the offering for themselves. He knows about it, and he's not doing anything about it. <clears throat> and so what that lets us know, God dealt with Eli, who was the high priest. And so God holds these pastors responsible when they know sin is going on and they don't deal with it. You see, so I, I can't say that that, you know, I'm pleasing to the Lord if I know sin is going on and I don't address it. You see, whether folks get their feelings hurt or not, you know, that's when you leave. God will send 10 more because now it's clean. Everybody see that? And so we have to. Uh, that's why I guess we address sin the way that we do, because God want us to stay pure so that when he does send people, uh, they're coming to something that they're not going to get hurt in. You see, because that, that's the last thing God needs is to add people to the church. And then the church hurt them. And now the next person that go and try to evangelize to them have a harder time. A lot of times what you're running into when you go out and you evangelize, you're running into people that have been hurt by the church already. And it's, it's, it's a sad thing, you know. It's a sad thing. And so God wants us to clean up what we have now so that when he does add, you know, he'll be adding. He, he's secure in it. He knows, OK, these people are going to love on these people. He, you know, it's got hurting people that need to be loved on that have been hurt by church people, by people who were professing to be Christians. And so does that answer your question?